guys, welcome to an episode of TV Talk with me, the copycat. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Ghost Adventures, Season 13, Episode 9. It was called Twin Bridges Orphanage. i got to say, I liked it. It was slow at the beginning but I guess like all investigations you know you have to start somewhere you have to let people know about the history and all that type of stuff but all I gotta say is um there's a few little things that really got to me so one of them the first thing uh where do those tunnels lead so that in the beginning they were going through saying um about the house and stuff like that and then all of a sudden it cut to them going towards this underground tunnel where I'm pretty sure it was Jay had to go down there and get um, footage down there, but it, they didn't actually say where it led to. They were just like, oh, there's tunnels that lead all over the place and blah, blah, blah. I mean, that could have just been a straight tunnel down to a boiler room. They don't know where that led. That could have been anywhere. Who says that they could, you know, go to those buildings? And I mean, sure, they got maybe one or two people saying these tunnels lead underground, but where do they actually lead? It would have been good to have a bird's eye view, maybe a map show a line or something like that but anyway I don't want to get let it get to me too much the next thing was uh, the lights that Jay captured that that was amazing so Jay and Billy were standing in the hallway of one of the areas and Jay got lights on the camera and he actually saw it with his own eyes through the camera as well at the time so he got to react right then and there which is something I like to see them staring actually at the camera um, which is what they're meant to be doing rather than, you know, looking around a dark and uh, kind of oblivious uh, place because it's so dark as they say when they turn off the lights they can see nothing why are they staring out into darkness they they're not going to see anything there so I, I would think that if they stir at the camera a little bit more stuff listen to me can't even English today if they were staring at the camera a little bit more maybe they would see more things and they would catch more because I reckon in some of the episodes I've spotted out quite a few things that they've missed and um, a lot of you out there would have seen as well like little orbs and things moving and stuff but I don't know we'll leave it up to them we'll see what they're doing because I don't know it's just it's just my little um little habits of checking things out like that but anyway the last thing I want to talk about is when they were in the pool section now uh, that was a dramatic moment it was amazing to hear little girls um, playing a ball moving like actually rolling and falling into the pool by itself and then Zach took over I mean shouldn't it have been one either of Jay or Billy getting down on that ladder and talking to them considering that they were there at that time like wouldn't wouldn't the spirit be more attached to them considering they were the ones hanging out there I mean don't get me wrong I love the fact that Zach is the main host and everything alongside of um, Aaron but I just I think that maybe Jay or Billy should have been one of the people to go down there and try and communicate with this spirit because it wasn't aimed the ball wasn't aimed towards Zach or Aaron or or any of them for that matter it was aimed towards them as a group and for Zach to to take the spotlight again and say look I'm going down onto the ladder I'm the one getting all this EVP I mean anyone could have gone down there and got that I'm pretty sure Zach's in it for the spotlight it's just me I'm not saying that he's not in it for the ghosts I'm not saying that he's not in it to find answers I'm just saying that he's a little bit more for the spotlight than the other guys are and like it's good and everything it's it's the way he wants to live I get it it's just not what I want to see on TV for a ghost adventures because it's meant to be about the spirits and and all that type of stuff not talking for 15 minutes at the beginning of an episode and then expecting us to still be interested about the the ghosts and stuff like that afterwards I mean we're kind of tired after that point 15 minutes of you talking about the same thing over and over again and what's happened there and like it's sad all the orphans I understand there's a million and one names on that plaque don't get me wrong I'm not saying I'm not hating or anything like that it's just I don't know more about what is there and less about what's not there I guess is what I'm trying to say ghost adventures used to be just get in tell a little bit of history and grab as much footage as we can if we get anything or not it doesn't matter like the debunked um, pigeon in the room during episode um, 9 during Twin Bridges Orphanage I mean 
we get it, there's a pigeon. You don't necessarily have to show us that whole sequence, but it was good because there was a lot of activity around it. Well, um, you know, debunked activity because it was the pigeon, but yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. But anyway, my voice is starting to go, so overall, it was a slow start, but a very good, strong ending. Um, the pigeon, I mean, you could leave it out, you could take it out, it's up to them really what they do with it. Just my personal opinion would be to keep that type of stuff to a minimum because we don't want to, we don't want to hear all these cracks and creaks and be like, oh my god, oh my god, there's something there and then boom, a bird flies out and we're all scared because of a bird. I mean, we don't want to be scared because of a bird, we want to be scared because of the ghosts or the spirits or stuff like that. But yeah. Um, any, anyway, a good ending, but a bad finish. It was a great ending because they got to talk to a little girl named Carol and she was laughing and apparently got cleansed because of the whole situation. But at the same time, it was a bad finish because Zack decided to take the spotlight once again and push everyone out of the way. You could hear them in the background saying, look, the ball's moving and stuff like that. But the only person that really got captured is Zach on the ladder. But anyway guys, I think that's it for me for Ghost Adventures and um, yeah, yeah, there's three uh, little links here as you can see. I'll be putting them in the bottom and of the description. <laughs> Sorry my voice is really going now but thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Um, yeah, stay tuned if you want to hear any more about any other TV shows that are there. So DC Legends Tomorrow, we've also got Flash and Arrow, Westworld, Walking Dead, um, and I think Gotham that I'm doing next. So you guys stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!